Oh, Sean here from Wahoo Warrior. I was listening to a uh, downorder.com podcast the other day, and uh, one of the highlights uh, that I really took away from that podcast was uh, they're talking about uh, parity in the game, mainly uh, getting back to the realistic squad levels and how simple that would be in order to, to do uh, the 8 to 10 man rifle squad with a light machine gun and one submachine gun type of thing. And uh, the unfortunate uh, way that uh, people uh, put their squads together, not, not for any uh, lack of gamesmanship or lack, like uh, trying to make it better. It's just, and I do the same thing. Realistically, <clears throat> you end up becoming, uh, you, you gravitate towards what's the best in your list that you can take for the points because they do better on the tabletop. Uh, you see the tough fighters rule in particular and there's several other ones as well, but I'm mainly going to focus on I'm going to focus on tough fighters rule today. And you know, it's basically a one point cost uh, in the point system to upgrade a squad to tough fighters. A submachine gun costs three points. A, an assault rifle costs five. You know, shotguns cost a few points. Uh, a pistol and some squads like the Americans can take a pistol upgrade, uh, like the Marines and stuff. And so it's you pretty much you have to be veteran in order to get the tough fighter rule there I don't believe I think there's maybe a French unit not very many out there that can be regular and be tough fighters so you're already looking at a veteran squad with a one point upgrade to give your squad double the attacks in close combat that is a pretty huge thing so what ends up happening is uh, people start taking six man squads as opposed to eight to ten man squads because they don't need to because they're, they're cranking out 12 close combat attacks and uh, it's impossible uh, for a regular squad of rifles to compete with that and I'm just going over some of the point values uh, you can you can kind of see uh, six man commando squad here in the pictures of these models I have is at 84 points. So that's 12 close combat attacks with uh, six rifles. Um, the 10 man German regular squad in the building there is uh, with a light machine gun and with two submachine guns uh, and two Panzerfaust. It's kind of a standard 10 man squad, 136 points. So you're already giving up 50 points, and the most close combat attacks that you're going to be putting out is 12 if nobody's dead. That's with both submachine guns, and you're dying on a four. Commandos will be dying on a five. A veteran German submachine gun squad. Veteran uh, Germans don't have a tough fighter unit, but they can take fanatics and they can take submachine guns or assault rifles. A, su a seven-man veteran German submachine gun squad with two Panzerfaust is 116. So that's five submachine guns. That's uh, 10 attacks and then the two more. So that equals what the commandos have for close combat and you're paying 32 points more. Uh, now, you know, you can argue that, uh, you know, at least you have more shooting, but you know what? You're paying the three points per submachine gun to get your squad up to that level. You should have the advantage of the shooting and be comparable in the close combat uh, for around the same points cost. So, you know, in, in that podcast, they weren't talking about raising the points. They had an ingenious little idea, and I really like it the more I think about it because it, it keeps the assault rifles with their value. It keeps the submachine guns with their value. It, and what it does, is instead of getting two attacks for tough fighters, it lets you reroll misses. And I think that is brilliant in, in the fact that you're going to see people want that really tough close-in fighters are going to start paying for their submachine guns they're going to start paying assault rifles or they're going to be taking more than a minimum veteran tough fighter squad and that goes across the board for all the tough fighters out there veteran united states uh, gurkhas and things like that because as opposed to this commando squad throwing 12 dice they're only going to be throwing their six dice they get to re-roll them but the most they're going to be able to kill in a turn is six guys it's as many guys as they have uh, it still gives you a distinct advantage against small units that do not have that rule. Uh, you, you'll have to play your guys a little more tough. And it'll also make people who take other units, like uh, even with tough fighters, start adding some special weapons, uh, maybe some submachine guns in there, and not min-maxing their squads uh, based on the, the rule, but more gravitate more towards a, a traditional squad base uh, composition so because a squad was sent out in the field with 
with the hopes that they would be able to deal with whatever they encountered. So in this uh, little scenario, uh, let's say the commandos are going to assault this 10-man squad with two submachine guns. They're too close for any kind of reactionary fire. So it's going to, and it's the commandos' initiative. So they're going to be putting their order dice down and assaulting. You can assault with 12 inches when you cross a wall. They're within six anyway. So they're going to go through that window and attack this German squad. So when you, the way it stands right now, as the rules are written right now, both sides are looking at 12 dice going simultaneously. Uh, the six commandos for 84 points against the 10 regular German infantry at a 136. So uh, you got your 12 dice, and then it's basically going to be the commandos rolling uh, four, five, or sixes to kill Germans. And the Germans, since they have two submachine guns, they have 12, and they're going to be rolling fives or sixes. The odds are very much in the favor of the commandos here. Should statistically kill six, needing four, fives, or six, and the, the Germans should only kill four as they need fives or sixes. That's just simple math out of 12 attacks. Uh, so the commandos win, they'll have two guys left, and they'll now occupy the building, and they destroyed the Germans. So, you know, if you look at that same scenario and you, you change it around to uh, one attack each but re rolling. It's going to look a little more like this, so as opposed to the 12 that they had before, 12 versus 12, now it's 6 versus 12. Uh, it gives the veteran squad a fighting chance if they roll real well. Uh, mathematically, however, uh, they should still kill 4, and the mathematically they should kill 3 on the first roll with the commandos, and then uh, when they re-roll. They should get out of 50 50 chance either one or two. Let's say, worst case, they get one out of the three. They've killed four, and the Germans have killed four. It's a draw, and you'll go into a second round of combat. If the commandos had rolled two of those uh, 50 50 chance, so it's going to break you the way every other roll, and they would have won the combat, and they still would have only lost to two guys. So it gives the 10 man 50 point more uh, squad. A fighting chance so let's get out of the building here and we're going to take a look at a S, an SS squad or a submachine gun uh, German submachine gun squad uh, that German submachine gun costs 116 points and seven men includes a uh, two Panzerfaust and five submachine guns so it's kind of a standard close-in weapon attack squad and in close combat they're going to be throwing 12 dice just the same as the commandos are throwing 12 dice under the original rules. Combat occurred somewhere where they attacked simultaneously, then they both killed the same amount of guys, uh, four, four each, statistically. Uh, where this gives the Germans a bit of advantage is if they decided to pay that three points for the fanatics, which nobody ever does because it's worthless. Uh, well, it's not worthless, but you don't get your points value. So you pay three more points per guy. You will draw these combats, and then you will actually get to use your fanatic rule, and you will win. Uh, quick look under current rules if the Germans assaulted the commandos. Commandos would have eight shots. They'd be able to fire at uh, the commandos, be able to fire at the Germans since they haven't activated. They'd hit statistically with two, I believe. They'd have to fire when they're still in the bushes and kill hit and then subsequently kill uh, two and I'm not a mathematician and it may have rushed a little bit but you know they killed two on the inbound so that's the two riflemen with the Panzerfaust uh, the British would still get to attack first here uh, but I, let's say that hedge isn't there they're just in a wheat field uh, if they're just in a wheat field it's going to be 12 dice versus 10 and they're killing on fives uh, if the British had charged the submachine guns, that's a lot of submachine guns they get to stand and shoot or react reactionary fire and they're going to hit with a lot because it's in the wide open there and they're going to do a lot of damage to the commandos and even if they kill say three commandos that's now six attacks against going first and uh, so I mean it's under the old rules so they'd still be able to get six attacks and uh, it would be going first. And if they went first, they could kill, you know, two or three. And then the and then the, the Germans would probably win. You know, you, you do the you do it under the new way. I talk about not a whole lot of change. Uh, 
you don't charge a close combat unit that's going to be able to go first against you. Now, the commandos here definitely wouldn't want to charge a submachine gun squad, uh, get shot at, and then uh, get into close combat. So, where under the under the current rules, uh, that may be a feasible option if you have an eight-man commando squad, and you get to go first. They only killed two. And then you'd have you'd have 12 attacks before you got to attack back. Uh, really makes those tough fighters uh, really really harsh on the enemy. Like this going this way, they charge these guys, and the commandos get to shoot at them, and then they get to also fight into close combat. Uh, they're they're still going to statistically with the reroll misses uh, destroy this uh, submachine gun squad. They pick a co couple off, and then they only have four attacks back at the British. And most they could you know statistically do is normally two. I mean, if they rolled great, then then maybe they'd have a chance. But uh, the commandos are still going to murder them. Uh, even without a reactionary sh shot, and they get to go first, they can they can kill six, and with the re-rolling, they they probably will kill five. So that's going to cut down the attack. So, uh, you know, the main thing with the with the down order podcast is kind of suggesting is that ten man units traditionally geared up, CNs don't really have a chance against the special tough fighter guys, and you don't see them on the battlefield because of that. So let's look at a 10-man infantry squad out in, the, out in the wide open here against these commandos. So in this instance, the uh, commandos declare an assault. The squad fires. They've got four from the light machine gun, four because of the two submachine guns, and then six rifles. Uh, they're still behind the wall. Uh, the commandos are when they declare it. They're not coming out of a building or anything. So uh, the most you need need fives and sixes to score hits so they would score uh, normally four hits on that and then they need a five or six to cause a wound so it's either going to be one or or two uh, mathematically split somewhere in between there so for the purpose of our uh, little demo here we're gonna we're gonna say that the Germans roll real well and that they scored two wounds on the commandos. Now the commandos are in the thick of close combat and they're going to be getting to go first. So there's commandos, four commandos versus ten regular infantry. Under the old rules they'd be throwing eight dice. With eight dice needing four ups they would hit with four. So that would be four dead Germans. And there goes the four dead Germans. So they this squad happens to have two submachine guns so they get six attacks back. I mean, eight attacks back because of submachine guns, and they would statistically kill two and then maybe a third. So even if they kill three, they lose. So uh, normally they probably kill two and they really lose. So if you reset that, it'd be four attacks, four commandos, it'd be four attacks, re rolling misses. So traditionally they'd get two and then one, so they'd kill three Germans. So the Germans have a few more attacks back, and you'd be looking at. Uh, mathematically maybe a draw uh, so those 10 guys could fight the commandos to a standstill as opposed to losing by one or two and getting destroyed and that's with you if you buy the two submachine guns if you don't get the submachine guns it's almost uh, still commando advantage with these germans same squad defending a wall hey it's a little better a little better advantage you would think it'd be kind of suicidal to charge them but you know not really under the old rules for commandos we fire We've got a lot of shots there. We've got some machine guns. We've got light machine guns. So those are the respective hits for each weapon system. Mathematically looking at one, maybe one dead commando if they're starting off behind that wall. You know, even if they got two. But let's say here's the one mathematically. So the five commandos come in. Uh, they're going to be throwing ten attacks traditionally out of the ten attacks against the twelve for the Germans. Uh, going to be going simultaneously. They're going to kill four of the commandos. And the the Germans are going to be killing six uh, or five or six of the of the so they they would destroy the the regular squad behind the wall with one man left over because they're going to win by at least one and uh, you know lining that up uh, back the other way though 
uh, re-rolling misses, the, the commandos are still going to be throwing five dice. And then with the re-rolls, they should kill four. The Germans will still be killing around four. And then that way it could push a draw. So you're getting shot at, charging, getting in close combat, getting a draw. Uh, six guys starting against ten. You know, that's uh, still doing some pretty amazing things in close combat for the commandos. Uh, I think what will end up happening is you'll start seeing uh, larger commando squads, which is fine. Uh, you'll see guys buying those submachine guns, which is fine. You may see some fanatics. Uh, I think it'll create a much more diverse play style. The British special rules and the armies, you'll see them come more into play. Gurkhas will still be tough, but they won't be impossible to beat because, you know, they won't be throwing as many attacks. Uh, I think it'd be a great change. I'd love to hear your comments on it. Feel free to post them on the bottom of the video. I really enjoyed the 10-man the rifle squad with the light machine gun and maybe the NCO or, or a different guy with a submachine gun. I think that would really bring a lot of balance to the infantry section of the game. I think it would even the points out uh, quite a bit so you're not seeing six-man commando squads so for 50 points or 40 or 30 points cheaper than the infantry. Uh, I would see, I, and then you know, if commandos and whatnot wanted to take a submachine gun squad, then they're paying the points for it, and then they will still be just as deadly. They'll, if they had submachine guns, they would get two attacks per guy and get to reroll misses. I have no problem with that. They would be paying for the awesomeness of them. So uh, that would be, you know, that'd be brutal. So the people who want to pay the points for that squad. You know, you're more than welcome to. At least I feel like you're paying for something. Because if you have a six-man commando squad with submachine guns, they're throwing out 12 attacks, re-rolling misses. You're still only killing 12 guys total, but uh, you're getting a lot. You're getting more attacks than you were getting before because you get to re-roll them. So you know, something to think about. But you're paying the three points extra. No, pro I have no problem with that. At least I know. You know that you have paid the price of the extra points for those submachine guns and it cuts back on your shooting range uh, in doing so and I can counter that with rifles and light machine guns in a different way by maybe trying to stay away from you uh, not letting you have like your rifle and the close combat destruction so yeah think about it I think it's great uh, great change I got a couple other ideas on some other aspects of the game that I'll probably put some videos up about uh, nothing's new I think a lot of people have the same issues so uh, put your comment down if you like subscribe thanks for watching